Yo, what is going on guys, Vision and welcome back to another Fortnite video. Today guys, we're going to be showing you how to complete all of your week 6 challenges inside of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. But like always, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel and like Fortnite content, then be sure to subscribe with notifications on. And if you want to support me in the Fortnite item shop, then be sure to use my support creator code. But anyway guys, let's jump into our first week 6 challenge of Chapter 2 Season 4. Our first challenge is, search chest at Weeping Woods and you've got to search a total of 7. Now because spawn rates have changed from 100% down to 50% for the chest, there is no exact route to be taken. The only tip I can give for you is once you search all the chests in Weeping Woods, you can always quit the game and then go back into another game as your progression will stay. So that's just a nice little tip right there if you didn't already know. Second challenge of week 6, eliminations at Misty Meadows and you got to get 3 kills there. Now my tips for this challenge is do this challenge first as Misty Meadows will be a very popular location for the first day this challenge is out which is thursday october 1st 2020 so i recommend doing the elimination challenge first like always and of course team rumble will probably be the best so that way if you die you can go ahead reland back at misty meadows anyway for our third challenge of week six collect stone from Cora castle you've got to collect 300 team rumble is double mat so i suggest using that limited time mode and I would actually recommend going inside of the buildings as the walls actually give you more mats sometimes than the actual coral plants outside. Of course you can destroy the rocks outside but there ain't that many. And you do need to do this inside of coral castle not outside of coral castle. Fourth challenge of week 6, consume a legendary fish. Now if you didn't already know there are 3 legendary fishes inside of Fortnite chapter 2 season 4. We have the new midis flopper, the vendetta flopper and also the new thermal fish as well now you can go to this exact location that i am on the video as thermal fish usually spawn there for me or you can try and go to this location and collect the midis fish it doesn't have a high spawn rate so i recommend going for the thermal fish for our fifth challenge of week six consume for rage items at holy hedges the only for rage items at holy hedges are these lettuces right here you can gather them and keep them whilst you're in a battle and you need to heal or like always you can just build up a few stairs high jump off deal some damage to yourself and then of course eat the lettuces which complete that challenge for our sixth challenge of week six ride a zip line from retail row to steamy stacks this is the exact location that you need to go to start this challenge at retail row and all you need to do is just keep jumping on these zip lines after it kicks you off when there's a little stop on these little electric towers just hop on back onto it and it should complete your challenge seven challenge of week six do your damage after knocking an opponent back with the Black Panther's Kinetic Shockwave. This is a recommended 4 player challenge for 50,000 XP. You need to do 1000 damage with this. Now you can only find these mythic weapons in the Marvel limited time modes like Standoff and Knockout. And also Marvel Takeover as well. This is the mythic weapon, the Kinetic Shockwave that you need to use inside of this limited time mode. And all you need to do is find a player and knock them back with this mythic weapon. For our 8th challenge of week 6, deal damage to opponents at Slurpy Swamp, you gotta deal 500. Of course Team Rumble would be the best as loads of players will be jumping here to complete this challenge. And again, I would recommend doing this challenge at the eliminations at Misty Meadows as Slurpy Swamp will be a popular location for the first day these challenges are out which is of course thursday october 1st 2020 but anyway guys like always hopefully you enjoyed the video if this video helped you out in any way with any of these challenges be sure to drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and notifications on i cover all the other challenges inside of fortnite i do daily item shop refreshes and also news and leaks about fortnite as well but like always thanks so much for watching the video if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching but anyway guys that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in my next video